Howdy folks, four string, cigar box guitar lesson. Been getting a whole bunch of requests for four strings, which I am happy to oblige. So this time it's gonna be the Rolling Stones and Sympathy for the Devil. We're tuned to open G. It's an A string tuned down to G and a D string to normal to D and a third string G to normal to G, and a second string to normal to B. So a fifth string tuned down from A to G, the fourth string normal, the third string normal, and the second string from a regular six string guitar to normal. This has become sort of the default tuning because you can play in all sorts of different keys with a capo if you tune to open G. And it just so happens to be the exact same tuning that Keith Richards uses, his famous suspended chord. Which I've gone over a million times on this channel. Lots and lots of songs by the Stones with this particular tuning. This one is a repetitive riff, which means it pretty much goes through the whole song. You're going to start out here barring all the way across on the ninth fret. And what chord would that be if we are tuned to open G, by the way? Well, remember the double dot's the octave, so that's a G. So if you go two below G, that's F, and one more below that is E. So this song is in the key of E. And we're going to bar all the way across with the first finger, and we're going to get real funky with the right hand. Super important to have this syncopation happening. That's the fancy term for funky. So we're going to stay on this E chord for a second. I'm going to bar all the way across with my first finger. And look, I'm actually using a pick. Yes, for this funky stuff, I prefer to use a pick. That's pretty much the only thing I use a pick for on the cigar box guitar, because a lot of the other ones have specific notes and melodies that I'm picking out, individual notes with my fingers, and da-da-da-da-da-da. This one is just a good old-fashioned strum song. Let's get right to it. We're going to be starting here, like I said, on the ninth fret. And we're going to walk down two frets, and then we're going to go down to the second fret, and then back up to the ninth. So it's nine, seven, and two, and back up to nine. So we're going to start out barring all the way across, and we're going to be real funky. I'm going to start out kind of simple funky, and then we'll get fancy funky later. Fancy funky? Sure, why not? All right, here we go. So, you can see it's a little bit syncopated, which means funky. What I'm doing is a couple of clicks here. I'm coming back on the up, which means I'm strumming on the up and I'm clicking on the down. Right there. All I'm doing is releasing the pressure from the fretboard. So I've got my finger where the chord needs to be, and I'm just going to press down, and then don't press down, and then do press down, and then don't press down. That's the best way I can describe it. You're like, what are you talking about? Basically, that's all you're doing. You're squeezing the string all the way down, and then you're not squeezing. So let's stay right here on this chord. What I want you to do is just do a down up. What I'm doing is... So if I go real slow, so if you know this riff in your head, which you probably do because you've heard it a trillion times, that's what you're going to be strumming. Hey, we don't even need a guitar, I'll just sing it. For those of you who know how, how to do all this syncopation funky stuff, just bear with me for a couple minutes for the other folks that have not done this before. 
I do this all the time. Every single guitar song, every single cigar box guitar song, I swear, every single one of them, I do a little bit of this somehow, somewhere, because I like doing it. I don't actually rewrite the song and make it funky all the way through sometimes, but I do a couple of riffs and a couple of chords right here and there that are funky. Every single song that I've played since, oh, maybe 1979. I'm not kidding you. I'd love that feel. So we're gonna stick right here. This is the key of the song. And we're gonna stick right here on the ninth fret. That's E. So stay right there. So if I slow that down, if you see these fingers flopping like that, that means I'm choking the chord and making it funky. Right there. So the first finger stays down and these fingers flop. Well, the first finger doesn't always stay down. That's actually too simple. <laughs> so if I start out real slow, for those of you who have never done this, for those of you who have, just kind of bear with me for a minute or two. You've probably been doing it for a while. But if you're a beginner, it is tricky at first. The first thing you want to do is get that right hand going. Notice how I'm doing a down up strum, but I'm not always hitting the strings that way. I'm going do 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 So real slow. So it's nine, seven. Here's your nine. Back up to nine. Now we start over again. Now some of you might be saying, what are you doing? I'm hearing a whole lot of chickity chickity chackity chickity. But how do you do that? Real slow. When you see these fingers flopping, that means I'm pressing down and then not pressing down. I'm totally muting, but then I'm pressing down, so that means I'm not muting. So that's muting, and that's not muting. When you hear the chord, it's not muting, and when you hear the click, it's muting. So I'll give you a 30-second little condensed version of how to do this for every single song. Make your hand go down, up, down, up, down, up on the strings. So this tempo of the song is do 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 do. So if I do both down up, you went you end up with tuki 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 tuki. Yeah, duggy. Duggy 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 duggy. And you're thinking at this point that doesn't sound anything like it. Nope, it doesn't. Because we're not done yet. See these fingers flopping? That means I'm pressing down and then not pressing down. When I'm relaxing my hand like this, I'm completely muting all the strings. When I do this, you see these fingers kind of pop up? That means I'm pressing with the first finger and my thumb. That's pretty much it. All right, 30 more seconds for those of you who know how to do this. Just hang in there because this is really important and I do it on every song and most blues songs, I would hazard to say 99.999% of it has some of this muting funky stuff in there somewhere. So this is really important to know. So when you see these fingers flopping, that means I'm muting. So I'm pressing down when I want to hear the chord, and I'm flopping these fingers to kill the chord, and I'm also not pressing down to kill the chord. So there's two things I'm doing at the same time to kill the chord. That's not to press down with my first hand, and let or first finger, and let my other fingers flop. Flop means I'm just killing the strings. Can't hear anything at all. All right, 
One more thing you need to know is I'm skipping some strums here. You hear that? You can see me strum, but I'm not hitting the strings. Why? Because that keeps me in time. This is my tempo, it's my baton, right? The baton with the band and all that, you know what I'm talking about. Believe it or not, we're almost done. That's really the main part of the entire song. In fact, I think, except for the bridge, or no, the chorus, there is no bridge. There's a verse, and 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 then there's a chorus, and then there's a verse, and a verse, and there's a chorus, or something like that. There's only two different parts, basically. So it does this about a million and a half times before they even start singing. And then he starts singing, and he continues to do that. The whole time I'm using my thumb, by the way, on the back of the neck. So if I want to hear that chord, I just squeeze. If I don't want to hear it, I just stop squeezing. That's what she said. Now, one other thing that Keith Richards does is the famous suspended chord, which I've gone over a lot in this on my channel. So what you're doing is putting your first finger one fret above, I'm sorry, your second finger, one finger above the bar. And I'm also using my third finger on the third string, two frets above. And then you take it back off again. That's the f famous Keith Richards. Super common. So it's the same chord of all those famous Keith Richards Rolling Stones hits. So we are on nine, and then we're going to go to five. I'm sorry, seven. <laughs> Two frets down. Now we go down to the second fret. Okay, so. That's pretty much it, except for I'm gonna go down here to the fourth fret. Now I'm gonna start all over again. going to do the verse, which walks down from 9 to 7 to 2, back to 9 again. Does that, I don't know how many times, a lot, and then... That's the entire song. So, what key are we in? That's the key, which is G, A, B, C, D, E. So, how would we play a guitar solo here? We could do that, but that's a major key, which sort of works, but it's really needs to be a minor key because 
It's the blues, which is a minor key. So here's the scale. So I'm using my first string on the 14th fret, third finger. And then you go down to 12. Same thing on the second. Same thing on the third and the fourth. And if you want to go down here, you can go down to that part. So you go. That takes us down to the main key of the song and the main chord. That's your typical pentatonic. Another thing I like to do, since we're in the key of that chord, which is E, you can simply make that chord and play your pentatonic right there. The easy way to do it is to bar all the way across and use your pinky two frets up. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe and check out my website, jagshouse.com. Cigar box guitar is just like this one. If you look down in the notes below, you'll see details about the amplifier that I use and so forth like that. Also ways you can tip me and so forth. So we will see you next time. Thanks for watching.